Hi everyone, welcome back to Bees and Fields Early Years Home Learning. Today we are going to be learning more phonics because it is really important to learn phonics, especially daily, because it helps us remember those um, digraphs and trigraphs off by heart. So some of the sounds might be repeated, but it is really important that we practice them. So get your phoneme mats out at home. Um, if you've got them in your home learning packs, you can pause the video and have a go with an adult at home or a sibling, say the sounds out loud from the start, in the middle or the end. It's up to you. And you can also join in with Miss Johnson now. As I flash up the grapheme up on the screen, please make sure you say the sound out loud back at home. Okay, let's get started. Ch. Ah. Uh. Okay, so our phoneme of the day today is ch, and it's ch for cheese. So you pretend that you're eating cheese like mice love to eat cheese and also my dog Dobby loves cheese as a treat. So my phoneme is ch, my name is, so the letter names are C, H. And as you can see, there's two letters and they make one sound. So it's a digraph today. We do not say k, we just say and you would normally put a dash underneath um, for a digraph to help us remember that they make one sound and it helps us with our reading and writing of words with digraphs. So we've got some um, words here that contain ch, so ch in cheese, children, church and bench. And as you can see, there's sometimes at the beginning of the words, the cheese and children, but church has got it at the beginning and the end and bench has it at the end of the word. So it could be anywhere, it could be also in the middle of the word as well, okay? So what we're going to do now is have a practice um, writing our gra um, yeah, grapheme of the day. Um, remember, grapheme is how it is written and phoneme means what it sounds like, okay? So when Miss Johnson says phoneme of the day, it's the sound of the day, okay? So the grapheme we're going to write is here, these two letters here that we're going to do. You can have a go in the air like Miss Johnson or you can have a go in your home learning packs or on a scrap piece of paper. So I'm going to hold my pencil and then I'm going to go, this is a curly K, so C, around, down. Then our H, it's a tall letter, so we start right at the top. Remember, it has a tall one, don't make it into an N, okay? So we go down, up, around flick and if you want to put a dash underneath to identify that it's a digraph to help you not say k, h, just ch, then you're more than welcome to as well and then again we're going to do it one more time for the c around stop then we lift our pen up to do our h down up 
a round flick I'm going to put my dash underneath remember to use finger spaces throughout to help us identify that digraph by itself it also helps us when we are starting to write sentences what Miss Johnson's done today she's gone on another I spy hunt around her house finding things containing ch enjoy I spy with my little eyes something containing ch Cheese. There's none left because Dobby's spent a lot of it for trees. Now you have a go at segmenting and blending the word cheese. Ch -e -s cheese. I spy with my little eyes something containing ch ch ick chick. You might have used these over the Easter holidays on some cakes or you might made your own chicks. Now you have a go at saying the word segmenting and blending. Ch, ick, chick. I spy with my little eyes something containing ch, ch, ip, s, chips. And by the sounds of it, Dobby wants one, but he's not having one. Now you have a go. The word's here. Chips, chips. You can have a look through your freezer and see if you can find some chips or some other things that have ch in on food. No, Dobby, you can't have them. I spy with my little eye something containing ch, ch, air, chair. Now you have a go. Ch, air, chair. I spy with my little eyes something containing ch, ch, op, chop. So this is a knife that can be used by an adult to chop up salad or different meat. And here, this apple has been chopped into pieces using one of these tools. Now you have a go at segmenting and blending chop. Ch up, chop. I spy with my little eyes something containing ch, b, e, n, ch, bench. Now you have a go. B, e, n, ch, bench. So I hope you enjoyed the I Spy Hunt today. Remember, if you go on an I Spy Hunt for things containing ch, you can pop it up on Tapestry and um, so that the Bees and Field staff can see and like and comment. So what we're going to do now is have a go at applying our understanding to um, the new graphene today and read it in a sentence. So hopefully a sentence will be popping up along the bottom. We need to warm up our robot arms to help us with our segmenting and blending. Remember, if you already know the word and you know it off by heart, that is fine you can just read it pause the video and have a go by yourself you can challenge yourself even if you think oh I'm not quite sure but I want to have a go segmenting blending on my own pause the video and have a little go if you want a little bit of help then Miss Johnson's here to help you okay so we're going to look at the first word warm up those rover arms let's have a go three two one K -a -n. can can and this one here sometimes is a, sometimes is u. It's called a tricky word because it depends on the English language and where you're from. So can, I'm going to say a today, can, a, and then we're going to have a go at segmenting, blending this one. Three, two, one, ch, ick, chick. Well done, back to the beginning sentence. Can, a, chick. Last one, it's got our grapheme of the day from yesterday at the end of this word. So let's have a go. Three, two, one. One, b, o, z. Buzz. Back to the beginning. Can a chick buzz? What do you think? Yes, if you think that chicks can buzz or no to them buzzing. No, chicks don't buzz. The 
bees buzz so that's a no that's a silly question today for you okay remember you can come up with silly questions at home if you want to and ask around the house yes no um ask around the house if they think yes or no to your silly questions what we just would like you to have a go at now is in your home learning packs or if it's full up using a scrap piece of paper is have a go at writing one of the words that miss johnson's found around the house or a phrase or a sentence so it could be chick it could be yellow chick or it could be um using our tricky word as well of the week all he had all the cheese or he had um all the chicks whatever you like it doesn't have to be cheese it doesn't have to be chick you can choose your own word as well remember all we is is it is a tricky word, I can't get my words out today. Um, it is a tricky word, so we cannot um, segment and blend it. But the letters that make all are A, U, U. Or if you're not sure of the letter names, they, um, the le if you're sure of the letter names, it's A, L, L, okay? So although Miss Johnson has sounded out to you, that's just to help you. We don't normally do that when we're trying to read it. We just have to remember all as what it looks like, okay? So if you do do you do uh, sentences at home please make sure you get an adult to take a picture and pop it on tapestry so the bees of field staff can like and comment on the amazing stuff that you are doing at home i hope you've enjoyed this phonics video today and miss johnson will be seeing you very soon bye